I just look like a chav with this on, I might take this off. No, I feel like you don't have any makeup on now. Yeah, that's why. I feel like I just look like some sort of like. But you're about to put some makeup on. Oh yeah, I'll put it on at the end or something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> another video today we are filming a primark or oh, full face of primark makeup full face of primark makeup yeah so we've, we've literally been today yeah we've literally just been we've just got back and we've bought lots and lots of little bits and pieces haven't mm -hmm. we yeah and we're gonna try them on our face and see what they're like and see how they perform so a couple of bits we have tried before and used quite regularly actually yeah and a couple of bits we haven't so are we interested to see what yeah, it's kind of like mixed first impressions, mm. isn't yeah, it? Some we've used, some we've not. Yeah, so. but the ones that we have used, we actually like, I think. Yeah, exactly. To be fair, I haven't used some of them in a while, so I think it'll be like another first impressions. But yeah. yeah. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to support our channel. Please like this video and comment below to and show some love. Like to see. Yeah, yeah and if you can like to see. Okay, so... What are you starting with? I'm gonna start with my eyes, probably. Okay, I'll start with foundation. Yeah. Um, I've got this, which is actually Izzy's, but I have used this before, but I'm gonna try it again, see what it's like. It's really? the Double Coverage Matte Foundation. It's actually SPF 15 as well, can you see? Yeah, yeah there you go. Um, and this is in the shade Nude, yeah. 05. I find it's quite a good colour when I've got a bit of fake tan on, which yeah. I do at the moment, so. Um, that is also meant to be a dupe for the uh, meant to be a dupe for the Essay Lauder Double Wear, which yeah. I mean I wouldn't say it lasts as long, but it is really good coverage and it is really matte like double wear as well. Definitely. So it's Definitely. a good dupe if you don't want to spend like 40 pounds on a foundation. Um, I'm going straight in with my brows. I've talked about this brow pencil before. It's the brow sketch, the little tiny kind of like micro brow pencil that they do. This is literally like one pound fifty two. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, literally I like it as much as my HD ones that I use. It's so good. Really, really. Is that bubbling your throat? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Pacetic cookie. Well. Oh. See, I didn't think that sounded it's that just weird. Just the right colour for me. Probably not. <gasps> might be a little bit light, but we'll just run with We've it. We've got some bronzer, We've got, some, We've got some cream contour, it's all good. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it's because the sun's been out, so I've been tanning, that's why. Otherwise, this probably would be sort of like quite a good shade for me. Yeah. It's got quite a nice undertone, I think. Yeah, definitely. foundations have like really... Yeah, it just sits really nice, look, I don't yeah. know if you can see because the lighting, but it's just like really good coverage. Like I had a spot there and it's like covered it completely. I look like I've got a little beard on. A little grey beard. A little grey white beard. So yeah, I'm just, I don't actually wear as much product for my brows as what I used to. I literally do like a line underneath and then fill in the tail, so this pencil is just fine. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, please, when I'm doing my brows, because I'll be using the same thing, just excuse the state of them because I'm waiting for Isabel <laughs> to open um, back up again when obviously beauty salons can open back up again. Which hopefully will be soon. Which hopefully will be soon. Before we both go mad. Yeah, exactly. Um, before my eyebrows actually just take over my whole face. Yeah. I'll start growing down my chin or something. They're gonna like join up with your hairline. Yeah, aren't exactly. They? <laughs> it actually probably would. So yeah. I'm gonna look how funny I look on the camera. Oh my god. You at least passed away. <laughs> before no, after, before, before, after. Of my brows. As you can see I don't wear loads of product in them but just shapes it a little bit more. Definitely, it looks lovely. there. Obviously, because I can do my brows, I have been doing them through lockdown. I don't know why this looks so funny on camera compared to like it's, it's in person. Like, it's like that video where I like have peanut butter oh, yeah. on my face. It does, I swear yeah. it enhances some colours more. Huh? I thought I had some sleepy dust. <laughs> Is that what you call it? No. I feel like people call it different things. What do yeah, you call I just it? call it sleep. Yeah. What do you call it? Same thing. Yeah. That's what my mum always used to call it. But I remember I used to go around my friends, she'd be like, oh, I've got sleepy dust. And I used to be like, people call it eye bogeys. Uh, that sounds rank. Uh, wow, look how bad I look. I think Ellis said, because Lola had one on her eye yesterday. Yeah. And I think, what did he even say? I can't even remember. He was like, oh, I think she's got a sleepy. And you're like, okay. A sleepy? Oh I was like, you what? You what, love? What are you talking about? Okay, so I'm just gonna bro like bronze myself up a bit because I can't stand the sight of like my face right now. So I'm using the um, Ultra Longwear Concealer. This is lightweight and full coverage apparently. Um, apparently. So this isn't actually like a contour um, stick, it's just like a concealer, but it's just in a darker shade. But I have used this before and I did quite like it. So let's go. Let go. We didn't get a primer or anything because I don't know about you, but I don't really wear primer. I don't wear primer okay, anymore. Just... I don't really wear it anymore. Like I used no. to wear it all the time. I will sometimes wear like a glowy primer if I'm going out or I want my skin to be nice and glowy. Yeah. But I genuinely just don't really find that they do much. No, I don't either. 
Like obviously I do makeup on other people as well and I rarely use primer. I just feel like if the makeup's done well and you kind of build it up yeah. and you've prepped your skin well, it should last well anyway. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I just don't think it brings me any form of benefits no. at all. Like I swear they don't. The only thing that they I think keeps, helps keep the makeup on is like a setting spray. Yeah, definitely. Well, when I say a setting spray, I mean the Urban Decay one. That's the yeah. only one I've ever found that works. I used to use the Urban Decay one and it honestly hates my skin. Does it? It made me break out so badly. Oh. I've got so many spots from it. How weird. I know. Yeah, this blends out really nicely, this um, contour thing. Does it? The concealer, yeah, it blends out really nicely. So yeah, I'm using the exact same. If I didn't say that already, I'm using the exact same foundation as what Charlotte just used. Um, possibly a bit light for me at the moment as well, mm -hmm. but we roll. Yeah, and I was just saying earlier, I've got this really weird like patch of spots at the moment that yeah. keeps coming here, so and it actually is covering that quite well. So. Oh, is it good? It's just right where I put my like bronzer. Yeah, so then when you put powder on, yeah. it just like yeah, it it makes really, it look worse. It's really bizarre. I hate that. We like, were having this conversation about skin earlier because my skin's just like freaking out basically and they're like wow I look like I've got a mask on. <laughs> yeah I hate that like I have a spot here right near my mouth I don't know if you can even see that but when I put like um if I put bronzer on it and it gets a bit on that or if I'm putting setting powder on it, it actually makes it look worse yeah because it stands out more yeah so annoying that's the thing I feel like sometimes when you just put like loads of makeup on spots they just they look worse don't yeah, they? yeah definitely like sometimes it's better to just like embrace it. Definitely. Colour it in brown and pretend it's a mole. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a really good idea. Yeah, people do that with beauty, like pretend they're beauty spots, yeah. Because hmm. I don't want to like it a bit weird if I had one here. actually a mole. Yeah. And I've seen like, I've watched YouTube tutorials and stuff before where people like colouring their spots. I do think it's really cute when like people have a little beauty spot here. Mm. Like, <laughs> like Mucha Buena. <laughs> I was thinking of the ugly sister from Shrek. Oh. <laughs> She also has a beauty yeah, spot. Yeah, she also then. has a beauty spot. Yeah, did anyone like, I don't know if anyone else did this. Did you do it what? when you were younger? Like when um, there's like a girl band or something. If I you have, have a sister. Oh yeah, if you have like a sister or anything, do you and your sister be like, oh, I'm her or I'm her? Yeah, you always used to do yeah, that. Yeah, me and my sister used to always do that. And with the sugar babes, I always used to want to be Mucha Buena. Because you look so similar. Yeah, we look so similar. You know, I didn't have a sister and I couldn't really persuade my brothers to do that. No. Yeah, I can't well, imagine. It's so nice, isn't it? It's really, I'm actually, I might get another mm. one of them because, wow, that looks beautiful Doesn't on your it? skin. It's so nice. Really nice. Yeah, that's fine. It kind of bronzed me up a little bit more. I look a little bit more normal now. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with the brow pencil. Brow. The brow sketch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just going to have a bit of makeup on my brows. So I'm just, I'm just taking a smaller brush now with the foundation and I'm just putting it on my eyelids. Just not really as an eye primer, but just to get rid of my veins on my eyes. Veiny eyes. This is the thing, like when my brows need doing, I feel like it's so difficult to fill them in. Yeah. So I have to like make a shape and for it to not look too like overdone, it's really difficult. It is very difficult, isn't it? Yeah. You just feel like you keep on going. Yeah, exactly. Right, sorry, I think I might have blocked the camera there, but I've literally just put a bit of foundation over my eyelids. This brow pencil is so nice, so it's, honestly. I don't think I'd use anything else now. I literally love it. It's so, so nice. And I just think, for like how cheap it is. Like, oh, I honestly. buy other brow pencils and they run out. So I, I use, I don't know, I go through them quite quickly. Yeah, think. yeah, definitely. But for how cheap that one is, it's like you can't go wrong. I feel like it's not really run out very quickly. I no. Know. And I suppose, like, with brow pencils, you just don't really use that much, do you? Nick to a brow pencil is through. very similar, and I always find I run out that really quickly. Really? Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's not cheap. I mean, I know Nick's is like drugstore, isn't it? But I think yeah. the brow pencil's like nine pounds. Nine pounds, yeah. I always find Nick's actually really quite expensive. It is, it's more, it's one of the more expensive ones, I would say. Like, it is good. A bit like, like the Revlon. Stuff is good, but yeah. Revlon's a bit more expensive, isn't it? And Definitely. like that. Okay, I am going to go in with a little bit of illegal concealer. <laughs> illegal <laughs> concealer. And I need some under my eyes, so that's what I'm going to do. Literally, I'm just using a L'Oreal on. Still very affordable, but just not Primark. Yeah. And literally, I don't really need a lot because this foundation is really full coverage, but I just want my under eyes a little bit lighter. Yeah. I'm put a tiny bit on my nose as well. Also, guys, we are actually, by the time this goes up, we might have hit 300 subscribers. Yeah, very exciting. <gasps> let's hope, let's hope. If not, then please subscribe to get us to 300. Yeah. If not, still subscribe anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
If we've gone past 300, just subscribe anyway. Yeah, just do it anyway. We'll get to 400. Yeah. But it's an ever-growing channel, you know. I love it making them, I think. Oh I, my well, god, we, we love it. throughout lockdown if we Yeah, exactly. Lockdown. It's been such fun, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, we both love doing it. Oh no. What? What have you done? How did she do that? Excuse me. <laughs> I think it broke off. Fell onto my eyelash. Fell off my eyelash, went onto my nose. Well, now that I'm a bit Yeah, it was like a beautiful. Yeah. There was quite a few powders, wasn't there? Yeah, there um, was loads of powders. We ended up going for this, which I don't really know why, because our foundation is really full coverage, but it's actually a pressed powder foundation, apparently. Yeah. Um, possibly very pale. Um, yeah. Is it? I'm going to like, literally look like we've passed it's away. Gray. It's yeah. grey! It's grey! I don't really know why we went for the kind of cool, cool sand. sand. You know, cool sand sounds good. I was like, the lip. I guess we're we're gonna, I was like ash, but that's with my hair, not makeup. No, I don't want my face no. look ashy. It's very ashy, so this will be interesting. Oh, my under eyes look awful. Look. You might hold it up, look. I didn't look that in person, I swear. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to achieve something with this. This could potentially be quite good if we had it in the right yeah. colour. Um, yeah, I don't that's really know why so we got... Funny. don't really know why we got a... Foundation, powder foundation. I don't really know why we got this color. It was just a moment of madness. Yes. There was loads of people milling yeah, around. Yeah, it was just a bit stressful. Yeah, you're I'm just to gonna like... borrow a bit of illegal concealer for a second. That's fine. Um, and I'm just gonna take this little brush just to do my under eyes. I actually don't like wearing a lot of powder, and this foundation is quite matte anyway, so yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm not gonna powder my whole face. How is it? You know what? actually not too bad. I think because I'm not putting it all over my face. Okay. I think it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's okay actually. I don't really know what else I could say about it. It's just a powder. I wouldn't say it's added much more coverage. No. Especially if it's meant to be a... I feel like it's just set down your makeup yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just set it down. It? I'm just gonna go over areas where I've got... Yeah, the colour isn't that spot. bad to be fair. Like, it doesn't look as bad in the pan as it... No, no. on your face as it does in the pan. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm literally just going around areas where I get a little bit oily and where I've got a few breakouts or like around my chin area. Oh yeah, it's definitely like dulled the brightness down if you want. Yeah. I think I, I'm really used to it. I always use translucent powders. So I'm really not used to using a powder that's got colour in it. Yeah. Yeah, so am I actually. Yeah. Okay, so that is me. I look very matte now, which I'm not a massive fan no. of, but it's okay. Although, like, we couldn't find lip gloss either. All the nope. lip gloss was rank, so today's gonna be a bit of a matte day, I think. Yeah, very matte day. Right, I'm gonna bronze it up a little bit around here. Um, I'm gonna start on eyeshadow, I think. Yeah. So I've got the Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder, another matte choice of ours. Don't know why, but yeah, so this is just a matte bronzer. That was the powder. only bronzer I could find. Yeah, really. yeah. I just feel like it's gonna be so pigmented. I feel like you're literally gonna touch your brush in it, and it's gonna be like. Yeah. Or dead. It's, it's dark as well, that is. Right. That was the lightest one we could find, believe it or not. Yeah. I'm just trying to open an eyeshadow because I thought I'd unpackaged it. Oh. oh no. no. Oh no, no, I no, no. I'm going to a garden centre after this. <laughs> we have to film other videos after this. Why did we not film the one first? I don't know. You kept saying, yeah, we'll do it that way round. I was like, okay. I suppose it's because we've got, we'll have lashes and stuff on. Yeah, true. Oh, no, okay, no. I'm going in with this matte eyeshadow it's in burnished copper and it's just like a ready Burnish. bronzy color i literally just wanted to kind of get we just wanted to get color we can just put all over the nose didn't we yeah exactly we don't really do a lot of eyeshadow day to day so no can't be arse for that well, it's very pigmented it's yeah. a little bit off yep there's gonna be lots of fallout probably mm -hmm. I've kept my scar on, so it's a bit naughty that. Naughty, naughty. You're being very scandalous today. Well, we got mascara. You bought Sorry. mascara, didn't you? Yeah. And I just know that I'll hate it. <laughs> so it's just not going to be a vibe. We're putting lashes on. I just don't. Yeah. I literally have one. We were saying this earlier. I'm so picky with mascara. There's actually one that. Yeah, I you use. are, aren't you? Yeah, and that's the only one that I like. Well, actually, you know what? What am I looking at? Oh, the eyeshadow. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. I feel like that's a really nice colour. Mm -hmm. You could even go in with a bit of bronze glow if you want to. Yeah, and just kind of like... Darken it up a little bit. Oh, I mean, it just is just really nice and like blown out. Wow, that actually looks brush. really nice. I'm actually really impressed with that. 
Wow, that look, looks really nice. It doesn't look as dark on the camera, yeah. which I actually think is a good thing because that's you could build it up though, I think. Yeah. I was expecting it to be, I don't know, like a bit patchy. Just a lot really of nice. like when I'm flicking the brush, it's going everywhere. So you do okay. need to make sure you do that. When I come closer, you then can't see it. I keep going going closer to like show it. And then, and then like, it goes really bright. Hello! Oh, hello! I was going to do eyeliner, but I don't think I'm going to. You're not going to? No. Whoa. Because I kept my mascara on, I think I really oh, struggled yeah. really bad. But you're going to be fair, you're these gonna it on you. I have like an invisible thing. Oh, okay. So. Are you going to use eyeliner or not? Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will use it, yeah. Yes, actually, I will. I am a true tester. You're just being scandalous today. I know. Just... <laughs> Making my eyes look really green. Lovely. I look at literally look how green my eye looks. Oh my god, yeah. No, I said one, like I've just got one. Like my, one of my eyes. Like, just call me Mike Wazowski. Oh yeah. I was like, who? who? I just said Zazowski. I just can't go with my eyebrows. <laughs> the hair is just there. Um, I'm now going to get, we actually bought this to try and use it as a highlighter because we didn't have a lot of success with finding a highlighter, did no, we? No, we didn't. Um, so we bought this, it's called a, you can see that. Crushed pigment eyeshadow, um, but I'm actually going to put a little bit of on my eyes as well. It's a really pretty colour. It's like Is a it really coppery, printed? yeah, kind of shimmery colour. I'm going to put a little bit of it just on the centre of my eye bars. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a little, I don't know if you can see that. Well done, Prima. Yeah, really nice. Don't know how it's going to work with it as a highlighter because no. the foundation's too light and this is quite dark. Maybe so you could just not highlight. Yeah. I'm not as much of a fan of highlighter as I used to be, you know. I'm not either. I know what you mean. I don't really wear it anymore, to be honest. I have like this cream one from Illamasqua that I wear all the time just because it's cream and it looks so natural. It just yeah. looks like you're kind of naturally glowy, but yeah. I don't like the whole like stripe of highlighter anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I used to live for highlighter, but yeah, I'm just. I would actually just prefer like a liquid highlighter, mm -hmm. to be honest. Like yeah. I would prefer to just dip my finger in and yeah. just go da 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 da. Or like I said, that cream one, I, I literally love my cream yeah. at the moment. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous, that one. Okay. I'm now going to go in with the bronzer, wish me luck. Okay, I'm just going out. Good luck. I've got a feeling it's going to stick to this patch of spots I've oh, got, yeah. which is going to be a look, so. <gasps> ah! Did I just do? Oh. Make a wear this to the garden centre. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I love. That shows how pigmented it does. Literally, my t-shirt's just touched in it and it's got the big brown skin mark on my <laughs> Literally is. I'm actually scared to put my brush in this. <laughs> I feel like my bronzer brush is going to be tainted forever. <laughs> okay. You're going to have to wash it afterwards. I've literally hardly put anything on there. I forgot to cream contour. Oh no. You're just not testing anything today, you are. It's just useless. Maybe a, what? <laughs> wait, 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 what? I may as well be a one man band over it. <laughs> fell into my nice white clothing. Oh God. Oh, it's just an earring. I'm gonna oh, say, no, is it? It was that. If it's the bronzer, you're in trouble, because look at that. Yeah. I wanted to wear that for the garden <laughs> Okay, I've used a very light hand, and it actually looks okay, doesn't it? Actually, I quite like it. I think it's got quite a nice tone. I feel yeah. like it looks quite blushery a little bit. Yeah. I don't know what you mean, actually. It's quite a red tone. Yeah, though. yeah. Yeah. Are you just copied me? Yeah. <laughs> and you just did it first. What about that? That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Just left a big patch there. Oh, no. Will it blend out? Probably not. Okay. I think I'm going to have to do redo my makeup to go to the garden centre. Yeah, so I just take it all off and put it back on again. Why am okay. I so obsessed with the garden centre? Yeah, what if there's not going to be anyone at the garden centre? Oh, it might be the, you know, I know, I'm acting like... <laughs> yeah, it's like a fashion show. Mm. Okay, so I am going in with eyeliner because I'm a true tester and Izzy is not. <laughs> I'm using the um, double take... D uh, what? I'm using... <laughs> I'm using the double take liner duo. So, one side is fine. So this is fine. Oh, that looks wow, funny. Wow, that looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> this one is fifth. Sorry, but I would I would rather... Again. Okay, well, as you the camera turned off. Sorry if the camera's changed. And also sorry about my nose, because I've just put bronzer <laughs> and I've put too much on there. I look like when you're doing like face makeup and you want 
turning into like an animal. Oh my god, yeah. Like, like a Halloween. Deer. Yeah, like a deer or something, or Halloween. As a cat. We've got the high pigment blusher. This was also a pound. I'm sure there's really much been sending prices of anything. Oh, yeah. The pressed powder like foundation is two pounds. Uh, the eyeshadow was an absolute bargain of 90p and I actually really like that. Really good. It sounded like you're on QVC or something. Absolute um, bargain. It was. Yeah. That is really cheap. Yeah, that is. The bronze was a pound and the blush is a pound as well. And I think this crushed pigment, I think I've taken the price off it. But I want to say it was maybe one pound. I think it was one pound fifty. Yeah, I think it was one pound fifty. I think you're yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, my blush is nice. Look. Oh my god. Mm. That's gorgeous. I always put blusher like going up. It lifts your face if you put it up kind of onto your cheekbones. I know the very old fashioned thing is to put it like on the apples of your cheeks, like smile and just put it there. But actually if you put it like going up onto your cheekbones mm. as well, it lifts your face a lot more. Or the other brushes Oh dear. Right, I'm gonna have to do this wing up again and put eyeshadow on again. And really? Just, yeah. Oh lonely bear, look at you. You are so beautiful to me. To me. Wow, she's blown away with our singing yeah. talents. Look at her. She, Where is she? Wow. She's like, that was beautiful. I have made this skid mark on my t shirt. I was actually going to wear this <laughs> out. That's so funny. I'm absolutely ferocious about it. Ferocious. I'm like a fun. ferocious lion. I'm using the fierce side now because I've just taken my whole wing off. Yeah, we probably just cut a bit out yeah. and shot had a breakdown. I really enjoy watching people do makeup because it's never me watching. I'm always the one doing it. I know what you mean. It's very. It's like it's really weird... black though. Yeah, this is the thing. Which is a good thing. Not bad. Oh, sorry, darling. Sorry, darling. My elbow doing the head. Aww. So guys, I finally got my hair done. So my roots are now blonde and not brown anymore. She's a. Um, Blonde again. I'm a blonde babe. Right, so we were just, I was just getting the lashes out while Charlotte was finishing our eyeliner. We need to do it a bit more. Um, we got the sultry lashes. Mm -hmm. These are a pound. They come with glue. I'm not going to use the glue. I went to get my own glue and forgot it. Anyway, I'll go back. The glue's actually really good. Is it? Yeah. Okay, stop getting bubbles in your throat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the Primark glue's actually really good. I've just like sabotaged the packaging because I ripped them open. I just said it to Charlotte, do you have <laughs> any little scissors to cut them with? Because obviously to like, and she said, no, I bite them. Yeah. Have you ever had anything more I just sadistic? Go, and then um, like, the bit that, I just put it in the bin. You bite mine for me. Yeah, <laughs> nibble on it. <laughs> right, I'm now going in with mascara that looks rubbish. So if you can see. It might surprise you. This is the mascara. I don't think you can see it. No, you cannot see it. But let's let's try it out. I'm not really that bothered about mascara because this. Well, yeah, we've got lashes. Lashes right, going so. over the top. So. Oh, I might not actually. I don't need to cut these. Thank you. Have how you gnawing on them. <laughs> Coronavirus eyelashes. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Okay, now. I'm gonna pop these lashes on. I feel like it's good because it's buildable. Yeah, it you know when is. you get a mascara and it's so like liquidy, it just clumps up straight away. I actually like mascaras when they start drying out. Yeah, yeah, me too. So stupid. Me too. I know Honestly, exactly I like mean. buy a mascara and open it, and then I like it like a week later when it started drying out. Yeah, that's not that bad. No, that's not at all. I was expecting it to be like one of those ones that's so liquidy, it doesn't yeah. do anything yeah. to build. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stick these on. These are nice for I know, a pound. Yeah. I always used to use these when um, I hadn't discovered any other lashes. I feel like, I think I said this in private, like, but I swear Ellie Darby used to buy these ones all the time. Yeah, I, I remember I used to buy them because Emily Cannon used to use them all the time. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I want to be like her. <laughs> <laughs> Look so at I, them. Yeah, so I used to get them all the time. Like, they actually look really nice. I don't really know if you can see. Yeah, really nice. Beautiful. Yeah, they're really quite natural, aren't they? Yeah, they're just like, and for a pound. Quite like wispy and. Yeah, you can't go wrong. No, you, really you can't. can't. They're not like, I feel like because they're so, the band's so like flexible. Like, you know, yeah. when you just get like plastic eyelashes and then it's just not flexible and just like sits like that. Yeah. These are really, really nice and flexible. 
Yeah. Probably it would ones like this because it's such a thin band, so I'm just like, and then I just put it in the bin. You know when you like bite a tag off? Glue. You know when you like bite a tag off like clothes? That's like it's the same thing. Is it? Yeah, even though it's gone on your eyes. <laughs> but it's my eye, so true. Imagine you were makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I was meant to meet with my client. She's like, oh, sorry, I haven't got my little scissors. <laughs> this whole makeup is just very matte. I know. I hate matte now. Like, remember when matte was just such a thing? Yeah. People would absolutely love matte makeup. At least you've got that bit of shimmer on the lid. True. Gorgeous lashes. Yeah, for a pound, these are bag. Yeah, really good. Don't you hate when you get ready for a night out and your lash went to Oh, sleep? you just want to scream the house down. It's always the case when you've got like a brand new pair of lashes. Yeah, it is, yeah. Right, yeah. I've got the lashes on. I'm really happy with those, actually. That's so nice. Like I said, for one pound, that's really good. I'm just going to put a little bit. I have already got a bit of mascara. I'm just going to put a little bit on my bottom lashes. Like a look, like subtle, but... Like you can see they're there, but they're not like, wow, you've got lashes on. Yeah, exactly. They're not like bam bam bin man. Thank you, man. Oh. Bin man? Yeah. The other day, Izzy said she'd love to be a bin man. I didn't say I'd love to be a bin man. That has been taken out of context. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, because just because they finish early. Yeah. They have good shift. I mean, I think they do anyway. I don't really know much about bin men. Well, if there's any bin men watching. <laughs> so likely that they will be. <laughs> our majority of our audience is bin men, obviously. Yeah, they're like, have you seen Lottie and Bell's video? No, if anyone knows anyone who's a bin man, please let me know. Yeah. Because I'm just be interested to know whether yeah, they've actually someone finished like, early. Maybe someone's dad is a bin man or like boyfriend yeah. or something. Okay, got a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I am going to attempt to use that crushed pigment eyeshadow as a highlighter, but this could could send the whole thing just badly. I don't know. Lashes on? Very They're nice. so cute, aren't they? Yeah, I really love nice. them. What do I need to do now? I haven't got any blush on. Crazy, crazy. Be careful, it's very pigmented, but it is nice. Okay. Right, so I always put highlighter on with a beauty blender, so I'm just going to tap my beauty blender into here. And this might help actually, because I can be able to press it in a bit better. Hmm. You know what? That's not too bad. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of highlighter anymore, but right, that actually worked quite well as a highlighter, even though it's quite dark. I'm gonna try and add a tiny bit just to my inner corners and on my top lip. You know what? Look at my top lip. Oh yeah. My cupid's foot actually looks really nice. It's actually quite a subtle. Mm. See, so yeah, if you need a highlighter. Most affordable, cheap one. Yeah, literally one pound fifty. Obviously, this isn't doubles up as my eyeshadow as well. A little bit on my nose. And to be fair, they had loads of these. They had loads of different shades. I think this was yeah. just the closest to like being an actual like face highlighter rather yeah. than a for our skin tone anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they had a lot of highlighters, but a lot of them were too. We we knew we were going to use them, they were going to be too dark. Yeah, and they were actually quite pricey. Weren't yeah. They? So well. whether a lot of the other colours had already sold out, I don't know. Yeah, potentially. We have both got the same lip liner. This is the lip pencil in toast. Very nice. I already have, and it's really nice. Very creamy. Yeah, it's a really, really nice consistency. They do have a lot of colours, but we found that a lot of them are very dark. Yeah, they? this is like the most like nudie, I yeah. guess. But again, it might just be because our product doesn't have a lot of stuff, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, other products, maybe products in London have like a better one, mm -hmm. or Birmingham's might have more. I've outlined my lips and I always go in a little bit kind of on the edges because the lipstick I'm going to use is quite light so yeah. I like it to be a little bit ombre. So this is the one I'm going to use. This is the matte lipstick in Naked I think. Yes. It's really light but I really like it actually. And then I just kind of blend it in with the lip liner because this is quite light by itself. 
I'm also going in with that same colour. But I also do have, let me just get it, it, Thrill Seeker. And that's more of like a, it's a little bit of a darker pinky nude. It's I feel like nice it's well. more pinky, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but that is really nice as well. But I'm going to go in with the lighter shade today. I'm actually just mixing up quite a lot with the lip liner because I just found it too light. Too light, yeah. Mm. Mm. These smell so nice, mm. don't they? Really nice, yeah. Like vanilla. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like the matte lipstick smell. Mm. We are done. So that is our full face of Primark makeup. Should we try and get a little thumbnail? Yeah. <laughs> just get the thumbnail. Just Ooh, get the thumbnail. You would your blood. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is our full face of Primark makeup. What do you guys think? What is your favourite product that we use today? What's your favourite product? I would say, I actually ended up really liking this crushed pigment yeah. actually. I feel like it's really good because you can use it as a few different things. I know, already knew that I liked the foundation. Actually, there wasn't anything that I really didn't Disliked, like. Disliked, yeah. The bronzer I'm not a huge fan of. Once yeah. you work with it, it's all right. Yeah. But I feel like I like a bronzer you can just like, Rub your brush in and get it on, and it's not like whoa. Definitely, yeah. It's a bit too pigmented for me, but once you've worked with it, it's fine. Yeah. The blush is really nice as well. Yeah. What about you? I think I feel like the blush is really nice. Mm. I really like the lashes. Yes. The eyeliner is all right. Mm -hmm. Nothing to really shout about. Uh, the brow, so the oh, yeah. brow pencil is so good. So anyone who needs a brow pencil, go get one of them. Honestly, just don't buy them from anywhere else. Yeah, don't, don't get buy them from anywhere else. Don't get yeah. the next one. Don't get the don't. different one because it's literally the same thing. Yeah, they're so so good. 50, so. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Me too. It was so affordable, wasn't it? I don't think you'd think if you looked at us that we were wearing a full face. No, definitely not. Definitely not. But yeah. I'd be happy to go on a night out like this. Yeah, well, I would as well. I really like the lipstick as well. Yes, nice. <laughs> So yeah, we hope you enjoyed. Please give us a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And hopefully we'll get it to 300. Yeah. And then 400. Yeah. And then, and then 500. 500. <laughs> yeah, we just love it. So yeah, we would love if you could leave us a comment with anything else you'd like to see from us as well. Yes, please do. But we will be back on, I don't know when this is going up. So in a few days for yeah. another video. This is probably going up tomorrow, maybe. Or yeah, tomorrow. this is going up. Oh. No, the haul's going up tomorrow. Okay, this. Oh. So we'll see you in a few we'll days. We'll see you in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.